previously on Yugi Nono. Eugene, it's fine. I can just buy you more cereal. I challenge you to a duel. You what? <laughs> Magic cylinder, Eugene? Really? Activate grass. Get wrecked, scrub. Hey, did you hear me? I said get wrecked, scrub! No, no, I didn't lose yet. You still have to mill. All right, Zen, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, let's see what we got here. He's not gonna remember to mill the other two. How many cards do you have in your hand? Okay, I'll buy you cereal! <laughs> Alright you guys, in today's episode, we're gonna be going to the store to get Eugene some cereal. Because I suck. But for real though guys, in today's episode, we're gonna be actually talking about a lesson that you guys taught me in the video from the other day. Yes, in the comment section, you guys actually taught me a lesson, and I'm gonna be spending today's video talking about that lesson that you taught me in hopes to make you guys better Yu-Gi-Oh players. And I'm also gonna be talking to you guys about another lesson that kind of goes hand in hand with that uh, to help you guys become better Yu-Gi-Oh players on top of that. Yeah, but before we move over to the card wall to talk about these lessons, guys, I have to give a huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you all so much for your love and support. As always, this channel is the funnest channel in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you guys just keep it alive. You guys are just amazing. Thank you all so, so much. And I have to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of any mat from MetaMats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get 10% off of any mat that you want. But now, with all of that out of the way, and I have to give a shout out to my Discord people actually because yesterday we built a killer deck and I can't wait to get this video done for you guys oh I have so much planned so much planned but, but but one video at a time guys one video at a time let's go ahead and move over to the card wall and talk about the lesson that you guys taught me and then I, I just had to walk back here because we're also going to be opening up some fan mail after that. So on this channel, guys, many times in the past, I have sat here in front of this very same card wall that changes sometimes as I change cards on it or whatever, but still, something that doesn't change is in front of this card wall, I talk to you guys and I try to give you guys the best advice that I can to become better Yu-Gi-Oh players because I know you guys want to be Yu-Gi-Oh players, otherwise you wouldn't be watching my channel. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. I do nothing but Yu-Gi-Oh here. So so you guys watch my stuff because you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It's obvious, you know what I mean? So I consider it to be um, kind of my responsibility to always give you guys positive and good advice because this game is super fun and it's something that has brought me great enjoyment throughout my life and I wanted to, you know, I always want to share that with everybody and I always want to share just the best advice that I can always give to, to, to not only my fans but to anybody that watches my content, so period. And what I realized after my duel with Eugene is that I was going against my own advice but what I also realized was I have never spoken, at least I don't think I've ever spoken this specific advice on the channel before. I've given this advice out, and I'll get to that in a minute, but I don't think I've ever made a video telling you guys specifically to always play your games all the way through. And you guys may think, oh, well, duh, that's common sense. Well, it's not as common as you think. I can't tell you how many games, guys, where I just think so far ahead and I just pick up my cards. Now, that works for a lot of people in a lot of, in a lot of cases, in many cases, like, you know, there's not really anything you could do when you did lose, but in a lot of other cases, you didn't lose yet. Uh, for example, in that last duel against Eugene, Eugene could have milled anything. He could have milled 20 Blackwing cards and stuff like you guys said, because I didn't know what he was playing. I had no idea. There's no reason to immediately scoop just because my opponent activated Grass, which is a super powerful card, don't get me wrong, but it's only as powerful as the cards you sent to the graveyard with it. And if he didn't send anything good to the graveyard with it, 
then he just wasted another card. But like I said, I wasn't following my own advice at all. And um, this next part of the story, if you're the paleo player, if you're the paleo player I'm talking about that has dueled me before, and the, you know, that's in this story, please uh, leave a comment down below or, or something so I know who you are. Like seriously, I don't remember your name. I'm terrible with names. But um, guys, what I realized after the video the other day is that uh, you know I never spoken to you guys and, and stated you know exactly why you should finish your matches. So that's going to be uh, today's video. Like you should always finish every single duel. It's just like baseball, for example. Like baseball, there's no ties in baseball. You play till the end. Like the last batter at the bottom of the ninth still has a chance to tie the game. Still has a chance to win the game. In other words, like just like in Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. You can compare that to Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, you have a chance. Like that next top card you can get can win you the game. It literally can, or at the very least, bring you back. But anyways, um, what I realized though is that I've always given this good advice uh, to to players at tournaments and stuff, and just to friends and everything. Like, dude, you should really always you know play everything through. And um, I didn't realize that I had never spoken it on video before until a long time ago. And I and I just realized it again now <laughs> because I was thinking about this. But um, a long time ago, I was dueling a play paleo player, and I can't really remember what deck I was playing. It was probably like some early Herald build I was testing or something like that. I really can't remember um, what I was playing at that uh, at that point in time. Uh, but uh, what I will tell you is that um, the Paleo player thought he had won. He really thought he had won. And I was like, no, 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 just, just play it out. And I still had like 200 line points or something after that, after he had finished his combo and had attacked. I still had like 100 or 200 line points left. I think I still lost that duel. <laughs> but, you know, but, but the point remains, like I hadn't lost. And before before he had actually beaten me and he was like you know I ha I'm gonna have this and this and this I was like just just play it out you know what I mean and before that um, I was playing against uh, this guy Ed he lives in our he lives in our state he actually has a, um, a Yu-Gi-Oh channel called the Duelist Den um, he's, a, he's a smaller Yu-Gi tuber but um, likewise another situation like that happened a long time ago once again I don't remember what deck I was playing it might have been pendulums it might have been uh, monarchs at that time once again a long long time ago no idea what I was playing uh, but um, Ed was playing some sort sort of Ignite Exodia deck, or maybe he was like ghosting Exodia, and he was like doing his combos and stuff, he was like, dude, I'm just, I'm just, he was drawing a lot of cards, he's like, man, I'm, I'm gonna draw Exodia, and I was like, no, 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 well, just play it out, and he didn't draw Exodia in the next turn I won. See, like, that is another lesson where <laughs> me not giving up early won me a game. And it won me that match, too, because, guys, you can't you can't just give up early. Uh, likewise, and this is the lesson I wanted to teach you guys. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. And once again, if you're the Paleo player I was talking about, please comment down below. Because, like, and he even said after that game, he was like, you taught me a lesson today. Like, always play out your matches. And at that moment, I realized I should talk about it in a video, and then I never did. <laughs> but I remembered that, so that's why I'm talking about it now. Uh, but Anyways, guys, the other lesson I'm going to teach you guys today is to play out one deck, just one deck, and play it just all the way as long as you can until the deck gets hit or it is not good anymore and not winning anymore. You also need to know when to sell your cards and stuff, but that is like a topic for a whole other video, like literally a whole other video. Uh, but for today's video, guys, you need to understand that if you change decks often and you don't play things through and you don't learn all the combos for your deck and you give up on it too early, you're missing out on a lot and like picking up a new deck a lot of people will pick up a new deck and click with that deck better don't get me wrong there's there's times I mean when I picked up monarchs for whatever reason like like I clicked with that deck I really did at that time I'm not as good as you know with the deck as I used to be but uh, at that point in time I really clicked with the deck and I moved away from pendulums over to it so like I get it when you click with the deck but for the most part a lot of people I feel like give up on decks too early and you shouldn't do that uh, for example like right now um, you know true Draco debatably best deck in the game right uh, even though pendulums or, you know, right up there with them, right? Um, before, until we get a ban list, if we get a ban list, that is, you know, at this point in time. But anyways, um, Pendulum players, if you're like a newer Pendulum player especially, you might get discouraged by cards uh, by, like Anti-Spell Fragrance stuff, which is a card I talk about a lot because it, it really screws over Pendulums, and it is a very, very relevant card. It's a very powerful and relevant card, and it has been for a couple years now, you know what I mean? You're going to see that card. Uh, but uh, if you're a Pendulum player, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh, really. You can't, like, activate your Pendulum scales even if, if Anti-Spell Fragrance is up. So it's really easy to get discouraged when you like lose to floodgates and stuff or just lose all the time and you might you know put down
down pendulums and pick up another deck when pendulums technically have the highest ceiling and have more you can do with that deck and if you spend the time perfecting the deck and learning your combos better and spending time looking up you know different tech cards and stuff you could play like trap eater and stuff which people have played random example off the top of my head because it's a card you know I've talked about in the past on the channel a couple of times but the point remains if you if you study and you stick with the deck you will realize that switching the deck you know switching decks just because you're losing with it isn't necessarily the correct option like learning things can actually be better learning your deck better and being able to just have better card choices than your opponents can really help you like beat your opponents I don't know how else to word that guys but that is the lesson I wanted to teach you guys today is to always play your games all the way through because you guys taught me that lesson you really did and you reminded me of that lesson and that that's crazy <laughs> like you guys I made a lot of videos and you guys you're it man you guys are seriously are the best fans on the planet I am forever thankful for you guys you guys are the best thank you all so much for watching my content you guys are I, I can't say it enough you guys are absolutely incredible so that's gonna be the end of the discussion part of this video guys thank you all so much for watching again and now let's go ahead and open up some fan mail all right this next one is from Anthony Cantos let's see what he has to say again. this time this guy writes me all the time if you guys are new to fan mail man this guy writes me every week and he always has like a million questions and like he's just he's just, he's just hilarious he's our, he's also our former uh, fan mail champion that is everything out of that he always, he always sends the same thing too, just like a letter and like cards for me the guy's freaking great thank you so much like like seriously thank you so much here we go though <laughs> here comes the here comes the zaniness though beans <laughs> Beans forever, <laughs> the top tier dad. You promised me and mom that you were only going to buy one pack of cig cigarettes from the Quickie Mart and come home, but it's been five years. Why? Oh my God. I don't remember this. Anyways, I forgive you, but what I really wanted to say is that it uh, irritates me sometimes when a YouTube video pops up and it re and it's really epic, uh, but then if you want to know the story, you have to read the comic book that it's about. Uh, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. No idea. But the Power Rangers are doing this event where um, Tommy, uh, Tommy in an after, after alternate world is in charge of the um, entire planet and wants to take over every reality that has a set of rangers but instead of being a short series it's a it's a giant it's a great or a it's a something it's a it's a, it's a graphic comic book or it's a i don't i don't know i don't know what that word right there is but it's a comic book uh well now that was now now that my rant is over uh, here's a few questions question number one mom never gave me the birds and the bees talk and now i'm i'm 23 what do what do <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh my god! But question number two! <laughs> what to say to that? Question number two! <laughs> You're crazy, dude. Question number two. Favorite XC's monster? Uh, Lavalvel Chain. Lavalvel Chain of all time. Yes, favorite. Yes, favorite XC's monster of all time. Got to be Lavalvel Chain because that one has a lot of sentimental value to me. Um, so uh, question number three, or maybe Exiton, but uh, question number three. Uh, favorite set of the past four years? <sighs> Uh, it might be a Duelist Alliance, to be honest, man. That set was something else. Although, I really did like Breakers of Shadow and Docks. Now, I like Dimensions of Chaos a lot, too. It might be Dimensions of Chaos. That might be my favorite one. That one was pretty good. That one's a pretty underrated set, in my opinion. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just come out and say Dimensions of Chaos, because that one, the more I think about it, I really feel like that was an underrated set, because it had a lot of cards in it that became very meta-relevant very, very fast. So, I would say that that one was a pretty underrated set, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, but um, so question number four, what does cyber larva eat? I don't his dad takes care of him I don't know. I'm running out of room uh, so I'm running, You know, you know what cyber larva eats? He eats ancient gear players for breakfast, and that's what he eats <laughs> I'm running out of room. So keep these cards aside Anthony Cantos. Well, dude Thank you so so much for, for sending as always dude. Thank you so much for the crazy questions uh, Duck dummy blazing mirror force soldier dragons and then phantom knights of doom shield Thank you so so much dude. Now though, we're gonna be opening up one from our fan mail Monday champion Chris Bushka. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, so this one's gonna be yeah, so one package and then open up this one. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we have in here. This envelope was thick though boys. It was thick. All right, so we have a return letter 
and then let's see what my instructions are with these um so this one 410 this one got here quick dude that one got here really quick so uh hey no no um hope these proxies help i am using a new uh, material for binding um i made all nine of these uh, faster than i made uh made, made one before but i am sorry uh, i am i am uh, i am worried i am worried that uh, they are worse quality uh, can you tell me if they seem worse than the cards i've sent in the past sure i figured these ones will you'll replace with real ones eventually anyway so hopefully it's not a problem also after two years of slow work i finally organized all of my bulk dude good i know how much dude i know the struggle i know the struggle i found some uh, funny cards in there uh, no G jerry beads been sadly uh, sadly uh, could you sign these and return them sincerely chris bush absolutely freaking lutely what did you what did you send so for me uh, what what did you send so uh, pop this open what do we got in here what do we got in here so we have come on come out come out come out come out come out Come on now, come out of here. So, hey, hey, hey cyber rep system, dude. Actually, literally, like in this fan mail session, like I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna spoil it, like, cause I'm pretty sure that this other video is gonna come out before this video. <laughs> my, my, work, my schedule is absolutely insane, guys. You know that, but um, I actually, I actually just had Spectre Collectibles send me some really sweet proxies. Like, dude, I'm not gonna lie. So, really, what it comes down to is now I have enough uh, cards and enough proxies to to play test three cyber. Dragon decks and I might just do that because honestly uh, between everything all these different ideas uh, for what could be optimal or whatever in the future I have a bunch of ideas of bouncing around and I have a couple of different builds of the same uh, deck but um, I'm not I'm, but you guys would be like whoa show us no 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 I'm not gonna show you guys until everything's done and finished and everything is known for certain but uh, I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm not gonna spoil anything but uh, let's go let's, let's keep on trucking here dude what else did you send me what else did you send me um, defenders uh, intersect and that's an interesting card that that does that has beans on it though as we're doing the battle phase defense position monsters your opponent controls are changed to a face-up attack position and their effects are negated that is an interesting card that is a that's, star, that's a star strike blast card too that's a rare card dude but um yeah uh, and then petite moth mystic clowns big eyes moki moki oh my gosh spirit of the pot of greed that is crazy dude i was yeah i'll absolutely sign all these for you uh, let's put what, what else did what else did you send so for me wait wait wait, wait, wait. so not all these were for you for you oh Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. 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 So these ones were for me or for uh, these ones were for me I mean uh, for the island of misfit binder and then these ones were for for him for me to sign and then these okay I, I get it. I get it. I get it. So then these ones I, I got you now So then um, for me for you gotcha gotcha. So for me He's got what you got mr. Hey, <laughs> whoa, that's some cool stuff uh, Mystic Tomato, Secret Rare, Serpent Knight, Dragon, Secret Rare, Sarayu, DDS, Sarayu, Trihorn, Dragon, LOB, Secret Rare, guys, that is pretty sweet, Aitsu, Doitsu, and Soitsu, oh my gosh, those cards are really, really bad, <laughs> like, those cards never, did. like, I know that they have, like, their own deck around them or something like that, but that deck was always bad, man, those cards get roasted a lot, but, anyway, so for me, what do we got, <laughs> there we go, Cyber Dragon Beer, Cyber Dragon Hurts, dude, thank you so, so, so much, um, I don't know, I don't know what to say, these are freaking fantastic, um, I'll absolutely sign all these and send them right back your way um thank you so much for the proxies i literally guys today i have gotten enough for two cyber dragon decks it plus plus a card this is absolutely nuts thank you guys all seriously thank you all so much for writing uh, you keep this channel going and you uh, it's just i you leave me speechless every single time thank you guys all so much for writing chris bushka you are a complete madman i can't wait to do some extreme testing with all these cyber dragon cards like seriously like i i sit there and do i i do like play just hands by myself playing cyber dragons i'm not gonna lie and it's also how you know i came up with helped come up or, or perfect the herald of perfection deck too it's a lot of uh, playing a a lot of hands just by yourself and then marking down what cards you wanted to see and what cards you didn't want to see and etc it's a lot of time but uh, anyways though anyways thank you just seriously so 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 much for writing again and i will sign these to get them right back your way thank all of you guys i just want to thank all of you guys from the bottom of my heart you guys are absolutely incredible for writing and i am out let's go